YouTubeGatherings.com, you know, kind of a grassroots efforts to hold a gathering in Dallas popped up, and so I went out to twit, you know, set up an account called Dallas Tube to where we can twit on it, and you know, keep anybody uh, informed that way too. And so what did I do? I sucked my email list in, and it found 500 and some odd people or 400 and some odd people, um, and followed them all, you know. And I put out two twits, and both of them were links. And uh, then, you know, I got hit with all of the people, you know, then only had, what, like, you know, 361 subscribers, I think I've got now, something like that, back on it. So all my ratios were out of whack, and the computer just kind of automatically banned me. Um, and uh, the next day, and then I had to write them a little email and go, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? You know, and it's so like it wasn't that you were following, following too many people compared to how many were following you? Yeah, that's one of the reasons that they give for it. I mean, if you look, if you look at why your account suspended, that's one of them. It says your ratio of followers versus people you're following is out of sync. Your ratio of links that you're throwing in uh, to text messages. So I'd like thrown out only like two messages, and both of them had links in them. At that point, is a possible suspect, and uh, too many people uh, banning you uh, is a, is one of the big ones. And understandably so, but I'm assuming nobody really banned me. Um, and then they turned me back on, not a big deal, but just I would, when starting up new accounts, I would warn people to, well, don't just suck your list in and only throw out two messages and do it the way I did it. You know, try to do it slightly differently. <laughs> too slimy, market or aggressive, you know, instantly well, having, you know, 500 people and bouncing off an 8,000 person list, you know. However big my list is, well, but, and that's one of the real big problems is, is people like yourself, you know, and, and whatever. But people hear about all these like social media techniques, and they say, "Oh, wow, okay, this is really cool. I can go out and I can use Twitter and I can promote my business and stuff." And then they go out and they start doing stuff, but they don't behave responsibly, and you know, they, you know, whatever, and they end up causing these kinds of problems. And then they have to put in all these rules. I'm really happy that they're finding rules or, or ways of processing and dealing with it. It's just sad that it has to be that way, you know. So if you're if you're out there in listener land and you want to use Twitter to promote your business, knock yourself out. But don't go do what Paul just did and upload 9,000 people and then send out a bunch of tweets saying, "Go to my website, go to my website, go to my website," because that's what Paul did, and that's not good. That's not good practice, and and now they're they're catching you for it. So Paul, stop. Stop behaving that way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, but I didn't know it was going to be a problem. I've done this before, you know. But I guess before I had more real twits, whatever little threshold I triggered, I definitely triggered.